from the Football Game Plan Scout Team. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And now that the 2021 NFL Draft is complete, let's take a look back and see how well these teams did this past April. With rookie minicamps done and the 90-man roster with the undrafted free agents locked in as they headed to training camp, let's evaluate the entire class and hand out a grade. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Football Game Plan Scouting grading scale to see what these numbers next to the prospects actually mean. The Green Bay Packers made nine selections in this year's draft and they did a great job getting very solid productive players all throughout. Eric Stokes, the long corner out of Georgia, great athleticism, can press and mirror very well, has very good ball skills also. You look down in the sixth round, Isaiah McDuffie out of Boston College, great instincts going sideline to sideline, has the speed and the burst run with running backs and tight ends, and exactly what they need in someone that can play inside backer in their defense. So I thought they did a really good job, but I like the most about the Packers draft, strong offensive line selections. You look at Josh Myers out of Ohio State. He was my number one center. I think he's a plug and play guy that should help them out immediately as a rookie. Royce Newman out of, o out of Ole Miss was someone that played tackle this past year, but he's more of a guard traditionally. And I think having that experience on the outside just adds to his flexibility and versatility as a prospect. And Cole Van Lanen out of Wisconsin, very tremendous run blocking asset that should find a way within the rotation. So they got better up front along the offensive line at three separate positions with guys that can do it well on both ends of offense. And the Packers were also able to add some solid offensive playmakers in Amari Rodgers and Colin Hill. Rodgers is someone that's going to play in the slot and should remind some Packer fans of what they had in Randall Cobb. He's good in the wide receiver run game, but also can find those soft spots in the zone and also beat one-on-one -on -one coverage going downfield. Colin Hill showed this season at Mississippi State, albeit brief, that he has what it takes to be an asset in the passing game. So he has complete game. I like his ability as a runner with his vision and his contact balance, and adding that receiving element to his game just makes him a more well-rounded prospect. And I also love the fact that they got some sneaky good defenders in Shamar Jean Charles out of App State, an active, aggressive corner that plays the ball extremely well. And to Daryl Slayton, the nose tackle from Florida. I like his quickness off the ball, shows some pass rushing chops coming from the nose tackle position. So it'll be interesting to see how these guys work within that rotation on defense. One of the undrafted free agents that caught my attention was Christian Uphoff out of Illinois State at 6'2", 210. He's athletic and versatile, who can play both safety spots and has very good coverage in man, especially versus tight ends. He's good as a box blitzer coming off the corner, as well as in the alley as a run defender and plays with good leverage, and he can hit. He's going to be a core special teamer in a return game, as well as on coverage units. I'm giving the Packers an A for their draft, solid all the way through, getting some top tier talent, especially along the offensive line. This offensive line should be one of the better ones in the NFC. So I love what they did up front. I also like the Amari Rogers selection as well as Colin Hill and those defensive players. So Darryl Slayton should find his way on the field very early. And Shamar Jean Charles has the ball skills to make an impact and find a way on the field in addition to Eric Stokes. So that's it for this edition of Football Game Plan Scout Team. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan. Also subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and leave us a five-star rating. Wow.